All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Kakadash. All right, shalom, my brothers and sisters in the street. I'm your brother, Mr. LJ, coming to you again with another presentation from the headlines of Great Babylon and around the world. And today I'm going to bring to you, I'm going to talk about a, 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 a subject and a worrying uh, um, thing that's going on here with the Israelites here uh, in Great Babylon. And that's uh, it, uh, brothers and sisters out there running out there and buying guns. Now, this is from the examiner. This is a. Uh, Sonny Hostin, um, who is a host on The View, uh, said that uh, bl so-called black Americans are buying guns to protect themselves from white supremacy. All right. Now, let's see what the word supremacy means here. Supremacy, the state of condition of being superior to all others in authority, power or status. OK. And who is that person right now? We can we can clearly say that that person is the Edomites or the so-called white man who is now currently oppressing the entire earth and mostly Jakes, okay, which includes uh, the Latino uh, Native American tribe along with the um, uh, so-called Negroes here in this country and, and across the world, okay? Now, this is a very uh, troubling headline here because what this does is this cements a image in these uh, very racist, uh, bloodthirsty uh, Edomites here in this land that are now seeing that every, now they are seeing that the so-called Negro is arming, arming his and herself to go up against them. Okay, now I'm going to bring a scripture out here that's going to lead into this uh, this lesson today. Uh, and it's coming from the book of Luke uh, 16, starting with verse 19. And it says, There was a certain man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores. And desiring to be fed with crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover the dog came and licked his sword. Now that man is uh, dropped in purple and fine linen. That is the Edomites. Okay, that is the white, the so-called white man. That is the the man that is known as white supremacy, a condition of being superior to all others in authority, power, and status. So he controls the money, the food, the jobs, everything that uh, that Jake um, desires. Okay, and Jake constantly desire Lazarus is is Jake okay we're, we're the beggars we're the ones that are constantly looking up looking at them and looking at their lifestyle and desiring just even a little small portion of it which of course you see people like Michael Jordan Oprah Winfrey you know Shaquille O'Neal and those and those and the likes have gotten that little bit of crumbs while the rest of us are basically still consider still we still looking for that, that crumbs uh, moreover, the dogs came and licked his swords. Who are the dogs? The dogs of these other nations. That's your 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 uh, Moabites, okay? Your Ammonites, your 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 um, your Ishmaelites, okay? Your Elamites, okay? Your Hamites. Those those people, okay? If you want to go into everyday's language, that's your your Asians, your so-called Africans from Africa, uh, and your Middle Eastern people that come over here and set up shop like Seven Eleven like that and be successful while we are still living in shit. OK, and they come and they, they, they live in our poor neighborhood, but yes, so they thrive and, you know, they have houses outside the neighborhood. And that's another uh, subject I can go into. I've talked about that several times. OK, so now, as you can see here, um, uh, the our, our people are two thirds are in this mental state of believing that they have the rights to buy guns and they have the Second Amendment applied to them. But that is not really the case. Now, you can look in this scripturally and say, OK, prof prophetically, how this is going to be playing out. This is going to be playing out because your Habah Shem Yashah is going to purge, uh, going to purge Israel, the two thirds of the Israel, okay, and that's going to be done through these 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 uh, uh, internal conflicts and also the civil war that's going to be hold be take take hold here of Great Babylon because see Babylon right now is in in turmoil right now Jake is at the range you have a uh, specific black gun club you have female male jakes now and I'm, I'm not going to talk about the jakes that serve in the military that actually knows how to use weapon you know you know no tactics and you know have been deployed you know a couple times or whatever the case is like that that's obvious that they will probably maybe have a weapon at home um but i'm talking about your everyday jake that's going out there right now assuming that they're going to go up against esau Okay, now this is also going to be part of the judgment that's going to be coming to Esau because, see, Jake right now is only listening to Esau because, remember, uh, in Luke 19, uh, I mean 16, uh, Psalm 19, okay, Jake desires the crumbs falling from the rich man's table, okay? And as we can see right now, great Babylon is falling apart. Now, once the crumbs is not falling on the ground anymore, Jake doesn't need the so-called white man, okay? 
as 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 Yahweh Bashim Yashai place a judgment on this wicked nation, you know, drought, famine, no no jobs, uh the, the money crash and everything like that, Esau will not be able to provide for his people. Okay? Which include Jake. That control will not be there anymore. They will just be just like anybody else. And this is where Jake, this is where that terror is going to come. And it says here in Isaiah 19, uh, Psalm verse 16, In that day shall Egypt be like unto woman, and it should be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts. Okay, and we know Yahweh Bashim is a man of war, which he shaketh over it. And the land of Judah should be a terror unto Egypt. We know America is a spiritual Egypt, okay? And Sodom, okay? Because it, it promotes the most abominable uh, act in, in the Bible, okay? Homosexuality. Everyone that make it mentioned thereof shall be afraid in himself because of the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he had determined against it. And Jake, these wicked Jakes, okay? These Jakes that, that, that are putting their trust into these weapons are going to be a terror unto the land of Egypt which is America, okay? And see now, these Edomites, see, they, they only look at just this. They don't understand that this is just a tribe of, the, the tribe of Judah, the dark skin. See, Israel consists of 12 tribes, okay? So we're going to have all the Latino tribes, all those, 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 those uh, our brothers and sisters coming from uh, the, the South Americas, Canada, and from around the world. And there's also uh, Israelites that also look like Edomites also too, okay, that are going to be armed to the T, you know, but they don't know uh how about shimmy shy nor do they care okay they care about their guns and they're trying to get that crumb so when all hell break loose you can have jake's okay and jake is not even gonna be tell it's not even gonna tell who's a dog on jake because again jake looked like some of the other nations okay meaning that they're going to be so-called white jakes and there's also going to be so-called black edomites okay they're going to be black edomites okay chocolate coated chocolate chocolate coated edomites okay so they're going to terrorize this land okay you know, these people who are taking a jab, you know, who might succumb to the chip and all those things that they're going to be able to go shopping and doing these things. Hey, when you step out your grocery store, when you go and buy the grocery, Jake's are going to be right there waiting for you to take your to, to take your shit from you. OK, and it's going to be by the means of the sword. And that is what's going to be happening here. It's going to be a terror. See, Jake, Jake is the, the wicked Jake's are simple. They don't think they go by feelings. OK. And they're putting all their trust into this land. And when they're not getting it, they are going to be going crazy. Okay. And Matthew 24, uh, Samuel verse 21 says, For there should be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor, no, nor shall ever be. And except those days should be shortened, there should be no flesh saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man say unto you, Lo, here is Yahweh Bashim Shai, or there, believe it not. Why? Okay, so there's going to be great tribulation. How this tribulation is going to go? Let's break this down. Okay, you have gun sales going up. Who, do you, who are these? These are Edomites all lining up. See that? Men and women all lining up. Okay, remember man, the sword is Esau's, is Esau's gift. Okay, he got the gift of the sword. Okay, Asian Americans are now buying, see Forbes says here, more Asian Americans are buying guns for protection from hate crimes. Now, most of these Asians are thinking themselves that Jake is really the enemy. What they're going to find out is that the, the true enemy is actually these Edomites. And these Edomites are going to strike on to these little Asians. Now, look at this little Asian guy. Okay, that's a man. He looks like a boy. And then take a look at the size of these doggone Edomites. And take a look at the size of Jake's. All right? So, all these nations are now going and arming themselves to the T. Okay? Who are taking the most of the jabs? The Edomites and the doggone uh, so-called Asians. Okay? Which, which goes into all those tribes and like that. Okay? And Hamites, so they're all going to be taken. They're all going to be taken out. Uh, 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 take, they're all falling for it, and they're all going to be arming themselves up. Okay, so except those days be shortened for the elect's sake, no flesh will be saved for the elect's sake. I mean, this is going to be a battleground. Okay, now we, as part of hopeful elect, we're not going to take arms. Okay, we're not going to take arms. We're going to be sitting back and we're going to be watching this. Are we going to be a little bit nervous and we see all the dead bodies out there? Yes, we're we're, we're still in this flesh. Okay, we're going to be succumbed to fear. Okay. But Jake is going to go out there like that and they're going to do battle, okay? And that's Israel. See, it's just not going to be so-called blacks as these Edomites think that the only people that they need to go after is black. No, no, no. No, 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 no. The other tribes will join your, the so-called niggas in this country. And that is who you're going against a very, very large army of wicked people who right now do not see you as useful, okay? Nor, do, nor will they regard you anymore because Yahweh Shemir Shai have bought Egypt to poverty. Okay. Now, 
how did we get here? Okay, Proverbs 26 and 27 says, Whosoever, whoso diggeth a pit shall fall therein, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. Okay, this really started from this mentality that Esau has about guns and everything. Okay, this actually started from the slave, not slave plantation days. Now imagine, you're a family of eight Edomites, lazy ass Edomites, and you have like literally three, four, four, five hundred Negroes, so-called Negroes working for you. Okay. Can they overthrow you? Yes, they can overthrow you and slit your throat anytime. I mean, they were doing anything from shaving the slave master to, you know, our, our women being raped by them, you know, to cleaning the ass of these little fucking shit cave beasts. Okay. Uh, all those things like that. So at any time, Jake could have uh, risen up and there were uprisings, but we have a sentence to serve. So because of that, Yahweh Bashim Yahashai did not allow Jake, although high in numbers, to overcome his slave master. Okay, now Jacob strong, Jake carrying around 100 pounds every day on his head, you know, in the hot sun, body acclimated to a lot of vicious weather and all these different things like that. And we were docile to take go through this punishment and this judgment. This is what this is according to Yahweh by Shimei Shah, what we had to serve. Okay, but at some point in time, that is going to be released. Okay, now, as I said earlier, Jake is only behaving because the white, the rich white man, you know, like in that, in that, in, that, in, this, in Luke is now dropping a little bit of crumbs on the ground. But see, those crumbs are drying up right now. This place is falling apart. And this is what now is going to happen. And our people are falling for this nonsense. But we are not, okay? The book of Psalm 44 says, For I will not trust in my bow, neither shall my sword save me. We're not looking, we're not going to buy, we're not going to arm ourselves. The only arm, the only armament we will have is this Bible and these scriptures, okay? And that's what we hold steadfast to. That's the reason why we cry out every day and pray to how about Shimei Shai to continue to bring judgment on this place. We pray for the drought. Every time I see that there's a drought and there's no water, I pray and give glory to how about Shimei Shai because this is, this is prophecy coming through, okay? When I see Edomites in distress, that makes me smile. It makes my day. When I see Edomites die in accidents and all those things, that makes me very happy when they starve, when they don't have jobs, when they don't have no money. They have lived a very delicious life. Okay, and the same too when I see these other nations that have followed them. Okay, that's these Moabites, these Ammonites, these Elamites, Hamites. I too wish for them to suffer. I wish daily for them to suffer. I pray daily for them to suffer. And they are going to suffer. They are going to suffer at the hands of wicked Jake when Jake has nothing to do. Okay, so you're going to see here Jake, Edomites, and these Moabites, which is going to include those so, those so called Middle East and the Hamites, you know, them, them freaking dug on. Uh, shit shit hut building monkeys and shit in uh africans okay they're gonna all be freaking going going up against each other okay now the reason why jake needs to kind of really sit down and think about this of course they wouldn't listen is that you don't have the second amendment applying to you okay to carry guns let me give you a video demonstration now this is this is the latest right here to show you what happens when they hear a so-called nigger has a gun now here's what happened Hey, let's see your hands. This body camera footage shows a Norman police officer pointing his gun at Stephen Bomber as he's pumping gas in Norman. Put your hands on your back. Oh, what did I do? We will tell you everything here in a second. Somebody called in on you. A driver calling 911 saying someone in a red suburban pulled a gun on him near 24th and Robinson. So I sped away because I don't trust dumb people because he cut me off. And okay. then I, I sped up to get it back over. And then he pulled a gun. It's a red, it's a black guy, and he's in a red, a, a newer. So right away we know this is Edomite lion. Out of the Carl's Jr. Yeah, rolled their window down, called me a, and I didn't even say anything to him. Didn't give him a reaction. I just kind of chuckled at him, and they followed me for like three or four miles just until up there, and then now you guys are pulling me over. Bomber cuffed and put in the back seat of a police car. If you guys need to search my truck, you can. There's no firearm. I don't have a gun. I don't carry a gun. Police searched the Suburban and found no weapon. Police not able to track the driver down. It seems like this is a let's get the police to mess with him thing because now okay. they're not even answering their phones. Bomber was let go. Police shaking his hand and saying this. Oh, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. I hope your baby day gets better. I apologize. So you can see here what happened right there. He was in a traf he was he was in a traffic uh, uh traffic uh, uh where he supposedly uh he accidentally cut off somebody in the parking lot and some Edomite pussy freaking contacts the cops nine one one. Why? Because they send a judgment after him, the execution. 
okay, and saying that he had a gun. Why? Because the image of a black man having a doggone gun, so-called black man having a gun in this country is a scary thing for these Edomites. But the scriptures do not lie. The prophecy is true. Judah will be a terror in Egypt and it is coming, okay? So get prepared and get ready for the wild, wild west. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem Rakakadash. I'd like to give a shout out to the Great Millstone prophets and brothers out there putting this lesson out, putting lessons out there every day and teaching the uh, the up and coming uh, elders like myself. Uh, and also to you brothers out there putting out your lessons and to you sisters that are watching, Shalom.